don't see that. Give me my pipe, boy. Now out. Andrew, what are you reading? I'm reading everything there is to know about the Civil War. Oh, I know tons about the Civil War. The late 1850s led to a time of tumultuous controversy. The South, angered that many people in the North did not agree with slavery, decided there was only one way to be the best nation in the world. Secession. The fighting began in 1861, around the same time as of Abraham Lincoln's election. The War of the Ages, meeting at Mordor. Who will destroy the ring, the South or the North? But now we focus on the Northern troops. Now again, a Northern general from Philadelphia spent some time with a famous man you might know from near Chicago. Sammy Sosa? Best looking general award in 1862 and in 1863. Django. <laughs> uh, George, mm, General George McClellan. Oh, heck yeah. Cut. By golly, train harder men. You're not ready for the sharpshooting. Armies of the South, them handsome boys will tear you up like they tear the seed out of the cotton pop. Now, boy, you need to train harder on that ramrod training. You need to be able to put them bullets in the guns as quickly as a... Uh, as we can chase that from the runways. And I say, I say, you don't even know what the South has in store. Mercy, McClellan. Mercy. Oh, mercy. You would have mercy if Lincoln told me to put you in Richmond earlier to attack the Peninsula campaign. He wants us in there right now, and I say, no, we are not ready for that. We are not ready for that one bit. Now y'all need to toughen up. And you... Take the trash out! But how is that going to get me better, sir? Somebody needs to take it out. Hey, 5,000 push-ups. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how, that's how they look. <laughs> now, boy, y'all better get ready for this war. You don't even know. <laughs> I said no, Lemon Boy. Take it back. Good game, sir. Oh, you're back. Didn't see you there. Ha, 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 ha. Obviously, George McClellan, or Toddy George to some, was an unusual training officer. But how was he in the war? Well, Lincoln kept pressing McClellan to attack Richmond, but the incompetent military man thought his troop was not ready. And training continued. And finally, George pressed by water. Why don't we turn it over to the Peninsula Campaign? Action! I say fire! Fire the cannons in this magnificent boat! It's better that we just landed in Richmond, Virginia, in the Peninsula Campaign. It's working, it's working! Charge by land! No, no! A charge! Uh. I knew we should have trained for longer. That's better, boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're back again. I see why he was called Toddy George. Ha, 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 ha. His arrival at Richmond was an indeed late. And had McClellan not been captured, the war could have been won by the Union, and slavery was not abolished, as that was not yet an objective for Lincoln. But now, what is this I hear about some frustrations at the Potomac? Oh yes, indeed, my good friend. Upset from his last attempt at Richmond, McClellan grew very cautious indeed. Hold, men! Hold! No 
sir! The Confederate Army is not, no longer over there. We can get better cover and better aim. Okay, guy, who are you? You keep giving me bad advice. I'm just saying. No! Yes! Boy, now you just listen here. Confederate Army! Hold, hold, hold down the fort! Confederates, freeze! Put your guns down! Here come the amazing, awesome Confederates. Thus the war proved that McClellan was in no position for military leadership. Abraham Lincoln soon disabled him from any leadership, and his military career was over. He overtrained his troops and was too cautious at times and too ready at others. George B. McClellan. And so it was. Arguably the worst general in the Union Army finally coming to an end at the Potomac. After that, Lincoln just decided to end McClellan's career as a general. Oh, I am a good old rebel, now that's just what I am. And for this Yankee nation, I do not give a damn. I'm glad I fought again, I only wish we'd won. I ain't asked any pardon for anything I've done. I hate the Yankee Nation and everything they do. What are you doing, boy? Come back, boy. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs>